Left fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing blue trunks and fighting out of Houston, Texas. His weight this evening is at 194 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the 1984 gold medalist in the Olympic Games, the former IBF middleweight champion of the world. Currently ranked the number one IBF contender and currently he holds the IBF Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Championship. Please welcome to the ring, Frank Tate. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this light heavyweight exhibition bout. He is wearing white trunks and fighting out of Miami, Florida. His weight is at 191 pounds. He is undefeated in his young campaign as a professional. Please welcome into the ring, Mickey Marialito Rourke. Your referee in charge now to give instructions. Raul Caiz, once again, three two-minute rounds of boxing. Guys, I'll give you the instructions, Dusters. Let's keep it clean. Three hard rounds. Let's go. Shake hands. Well, a very interesting matchup, to say the least. It is three two-minute rounds, exhibition, and yes, there will be some scoring by our own Michael Marley here at ringside. Well, I'm not a Hollywood <laughs> judge. I can judge a boxing match. Here we go. Mickey Rourke, he had his one fight. He fought a auto mechanic, if you will, Steve Powell in Fort Lauderdale, came racing across the ring, mauled him into the ropes, and almost threw him out of the ring. A little different uh, approach here to Frank Tate, of course, the former gold medalist and former world champion. Well, Mickey Rourke did a lot of showboating, a lot of clowning in that fight. I understand uh, here in this exhibition against Frank Tate, former super middleweight champion of the IBF, now gunning for a worldwide heavyweight title. Mickey Rourke is supposedly going to play it straight and uh, box. He has yet to lay a glove on the former champion, though, with that good left jab by Tate. Tate keeping him sorely away. You have to ask yourself the question, how much will Tate be holding off against Mickey Rourke here? Well, they have uh, practiced. Uh, they've done some sparring this week here in the gym. And don't forget uh, Mickey Rourke, uh, while he's 1-0 as a professional fighter, has done plenty of sparring. Uh, he was an amateur in the Miami area where he grew up, had a brief successful amateur ring career. And in recent years, he's sparred with the likes of Thomas Hearns and Roberto Duran. So. It's not a joke with uh, Mickey Rourke. He takes boxing serious, and he knows the rudimentary moves of boxing. Both, of course, obviously in this exhibition, wearing the headgear for protection, and, of course, the uh, cup and et cetera, uh, protective gear for them in the exhibition. It is interesting to note, also talking to the Tate people, when will they turn Frank Tate loose? They said, well, look for about the last half minute of the third round. We may see something special. Interesting to see Tate, you know, he's got the more protective headgear, the bar around the uh, mouth area. Of course, Frank's got some uh, big fights coming up. Uh, Mickey's got a big movie coming out, co-starring uh, himself and Don Johnson. Harley Davidson and the Marble Man? Looking That's right. That and you can understand the uh, motion picture companies are not too thrilled about Mickey Rourke uh, boxing. Round one is concluded. Well, this is round two of a three-round exhibition. On the left is the actor Mickey Rourke, and on the right, the former world champion Frank Tate. And this is the second of the scheduled three rounds. They're fighting two-minute rounds. And neither fighter, of course, showing all that much in round number one. Mickey Rourke having more trouble getting his headgear on to start round two than he was of taking punches from Mr. Tate. Headgear doesn't seem to be sitting comfortably on Rourke's head. Uh, he's pawing at it. Again, uh, you know, Tommy Torino said Mickey wouldn't be showboating or clowning around. I guess he's showing respect here against the former world champion, Frank Tate. Frank Tate, one of the Olympic gold medal winners in 1984, even though he did come on to win the IBF middleweight uh, championship, uh, really hasn't done what people really expected him to, have you, Michael? No, he hasn't. He won the uh, IBF super middleweight title, but then he got upset by Michael Nunn. Michael Nunn held that title until just a few months ago when he got knocked off by James Tony. So, uh, you know, uh, Tate now moved up in weight, uh, like Darren Van Horn moving up from 54 to 68. Tate now fighting as a light heavyweight, moving up 68 to 175. You see Rourke try to use a little of the strong arm tactics that we indicated he used against Steve Powell in his first professional fight in May down in Fort Lauderdale. And Tate will be happy to uh, 
counter those quite easily, I'm sure, before this day is over. I'm sure Mr. Rourke is happy that Tate is not doing any body punching. Because that's a big difference, really, between an amateur and a, a real pro is that uh, there's a little showboating by Mickey. Rourke, of course, who the Pope of Greenwich Village, along with Angel Hard in nine and a half weeks, and new aforementioned movie coming out of many of the movies that he starred in. But again, just trying to, first of all, keep himself in a little bit of shape, enjoying a love that he has here in professional boxing exhibition this afternoon with Frank Tate here in Irvine, California. The crowd is now underway. They'll fight the last two minutes, and you see that Frank Tate may have put the fear of the good Lord in the roar because he came running across the ring right at Mickey. Well, again, I'm scoring the fight unofficially and just for fun, and that's really what it is, not a fight, but a for-fun exhibition just to stay in shape. And uh, gave the second round to Frank Tate. Maybe Mickey's got to get more aggressive and open up. So it's Tate coming out, flipping that left jab, and Rourke again tried to step underneath. Tate knows he has a wide open target on Rourke when he ducks underneath there, but he's yet to throw that right in. I did one of these myself uh, last year, Sam, with uh, Thomas Hitman Hearns, and I tell you, it's not as, as much fun as it looks. <laughs> But Mr. Hearns was very kind very to me, kind very, to me. very kind. <laughs> and I, I write terrific things about Mr. Hearns. <laughs> I notice you preface it by Mr. all the time now, too. Total respect. <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know, uh, Mickey Rourke, uh, you know, can, has some boxing ability, but he doesn't want to take too many liberties with a world, former world champion like Frank Tate. Well, again, Mickey Rourke trying to oh, show the old this is a big again. Oh, misses a big left hook. And the crowd is being entertained, and I guess that's really what it's all about. Tate starting to hot dog a little bit himself. Yeah, he's the showboat now, Frank Tate. Tate, by the way, and his entourage just flew in from Houston for this fight today, and he's heading on for some fights over in Hawaii and et cetera. So he's got a very busy schedule and just punctuated by exhibition here in the uh, Los Angeles area. have to say, uh, Frank Tate is looking very sharp now as a light heavyweight contender. More of a love affair going right now than a fight going on, I think. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Just a few seconds to go. You see in round three. There's a few body shots by Tate. Mickey Rourke really sucking some wind. He's going to have to rest for this one minute. Gets a right hand, throws a left-right combination as Tate heads the other way. Little action after. <laughs> well, Mickey Rourke again, who exchanged with Tate. And that's going to be the end of that uh, third round of the exhibition officially over it is Frank Tate. Throws some good punches, and as he said, he was going to try to load up for the final 30 seconds of the fight, and certainly he did. As he threw some good combinations, and Mickey Rourke finished it out with a punctuation mark of his own throwing a couple of punches right at the end. Mickey Rourke, 35 years of age, new movie coming out, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man with Don Johnson next week. Somebody asked, they said, why would he do this? Would he take a chance of scarring his face? Not to be irreverent to uh, Mr. Roy, but have you looked at that face lately? Not a lot of more hurt. Let's take a look at early on as Roy may have caught <laughs> Tate a little off balance as he gets a cupping right hand on him. And Tate, of course, retaliated with a couple of shots his own, but that may have been the best punch thrown by Mickey Roy in this fight today as he fights six minutes against the former world champion, Frank Tate. Well, I'm not sure exactly why Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing in the middle of the ring and the fact that we don't have a decision to make, even though unofficially in the card, our own Michael Marley had ruled it as a uh, complete shutout for the former champion, Frank Ladies Tate. and gentlemen, once again, this is an exhibition bout. There's no score here, but they're both winners here this evening. How about a hand of recognition for a fine exhibition, Frank Tate and Mickey Rourke. Well, quite obviously, just a... Word of thanks to both of these fighters, and of course the hug in the middle of the ring for both, and Mike Marley looking as if he's in hot pursuit, is heading across the way to try to get a word from both of them. And let's go to Michael now on the send the ring. Mickey, how serious were you taking this exhibition? You're in with a former world champion, he's going for the light heavyweight title, how did you feel? Well, they let me know about two weeks ago, so I mean, I was in shape and stuff, but that didn't matter if I was in shape. <laughs> it probably would have been a worse outcome with this man, this is, <laughs> he's the best and this is game, you know. And uh, I do it for sort of like therapeutic reasons. And I respect what he does. And, uh, you know, for me at this point, it's like, it's just nice that Frank lets, lets me get some work with him, you know? Frank, uh, how do you rate Mickey Rourke? Not as an actor, but as a boxer. He need me to work with him. 
and we'll make them world champions. State, California State, movie star champ. Okay. <laughs> Mickey, you are serious, though. Uh, Tommy Torino, who, who works with you, tells me that you plan to have uh, an additional 10 to 12 pro bouts. Will you be able to do that with your uh, film schedule? It's going to be hard, but like I won't be able, I won't be fighting guys in Frank's League, you know. So that makes a big difference. So you took a step up in class today. In this oh, uh, about ten steps <laughs> up. Yeah, sure. You went to college tonight. Yeah, yeah, sure. Very good. Oh, it was just all in fun, you know. They said they needed somebody to get on the car to bring the people in, and I told Mickey, hey, let's do it. You know, this is entertainment. That's what you do. That's what I do. So let's make it happen. And we're here. You know, I'm not here to hurt him, because you know. This is not nothing real. This is for play, and um, I'm sorry that the fans booed him, but, you know, hey, you got to respect him, man. You know, he, They he always knows. get a reaction. You notice yeah, that. No. They never sit on their hands. Yeah. Mickey, I know you've worked with Roberto Duran quite a bit, Thomas Hearns. Uh, how would you uh, rank Mr. Tate with those fellows? It's, uh, it's hard to say, you know, because all three of them got their own style and stuff, and, and uh, it's hard to say, really. Okay, Mickey, good luck with your boxing and your next film. And Frank, I uh, know you're going for the light heavyweight title. What's coming up next? Well, um, right now I'm going to have to go back home and um, get a little um, plastic surgery done. And after that, we'll be in the gym and hopefully we can get a fight with Prince Charles or whoever would accept us. We look for you in Hollywood soon? Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe, huh? Maybe. Thank you. Now back to uh, Sam at ringside, Sam Smith. This next fight coming your way features super middleweights in the ring. It is scheduled for five rounds of boxing.